morning, everyone, and welcome to the opening ceremony of the European Higher Education Fair Indonesia 2023 on this 11th day of November. It's a great honor for me, Gwen, to be here with all of you and to extend a warm welcome to His Excellency Mr. Stefan Mekati, Charge de Fair at Interim, Delegation of the European Union to Indonesia and Brunei Darussalam, Your Excellency the Ambassadors of the EU Member States, Ibu Dr. Dian Sari Utami, Indonesian International Student Mobility Awards, or ISMA, Coordinator for the European Region. To all exhibitors of EHAF Indonesia 2023, visitors, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Before we proceed, I would like to invite everyone to stand up to the playing of our national anthem, Indonesia Raya, followed by the anthem of the European Union, Ode to Joy. Please rise. Thank you. You may all please be seated. 
And now I invite His Excellency, Mr. Stefan Makati, Charles de Fer at Interim, Delegation of the European Union to Indonesia and Brunei Darussalam to come to the stage for his welcome remarks. Hello, Salamat Pagi, uh, Ibubu, Papa. Uh, welcome uh, to this uh, exhibition. I was just thinking loud when listening again our anthem, the one of the European Union. Uh, ich wünsche, dass wir uh, alles Menschen werden Bruder, dass the, the, the all human beings were living in a brotherhood spirit and in peace. Nowadays, the context is quite appealing, I must say, in this regard. So it's very warm to my heart to listen to this universal uh, message and this fantastic music of Beethoven. And I think that precisely the purpose, one of the purposes of us gathering here is to build this. A spirit of brotherhood through our young generations. So I would like to greet uh, and thank, even if he's not with us today, Professor Nizam, the Director General for Higher Education at the Ministry of Education, Culture, Research and Technology. I would like to thank very much, in particular, Ibu Professor Diansari Utami from the Indonesia International Student Mobility Awards, ISMA for her presence because without them, uh, we would not be here, we would not be successful in gathering all these people, talents and possibilities. I would like also to greet our European Union ambassadors. I see some of them, they are not all here, but from the Czech Republic, from Poland, from Ireland, from uh, Sweden, from Cyprus. I see also many uh, colleagues from uh, uh, universities. Uh, I'd like to Great also all the colleagues from the different European member states embassies, uh, but also the exhibitors, all the universities and the staff coming here uh, to present all the opportunities for, uh, uh, in Europe. I'd like also to great all the students, they are not here yet, but they will come, so in advance, be them welcome, and also the academicians and the journalists. Um, and last but not least, I would like to also to greet and, and thank uh, in advance all the committee members of this European Higher Education Fair in Jakarta, EHEF. So again, good morning and welcome to this uh, event. Um, as you know, the European Union and Indonesia have a strong partnership in the field of education. And we are part on the European side with all our member states uh, to support the Indonesia vision uh, uh, to become, uh, uh, by 2045, uh, a high-income country. And to achieve this goal, 2045, this requires strong attention and investment uh, to the development of human capital, technology, and innovation. Facilitating uh, studies on our side in Europe uh, to uh, Indonesian youth is also a response uh, part of the European Union strategy Global Getaway to promote sustainable investments and connections around the world. And more generally, these investments in education and research in youth are key to progress towards the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and to tackle global challenges, of course, such as climate change. Through various cooperation initiatives, the European Union works with many partners and around the world, such as in Indonesia, to improve education systems and to facilitate the mobility of our students, staff, teachers, and trainees. We cooperate closely to strengthen cooperation on research and innovation in particular. This week again, uh, we have been celebrating on many occasions this cooperation with many countries. The European Higher Education Fair is the concrete evidence uh, that the European Union, their member states, and Indonesia have a shared interest in building broader and a stronger people-to-people -people contact, uh, contacts between Europe and Indonesia. This year, EU uh, um, uh, 
E H E F, I'm sorry, this is difficult to pronounce as an abbreviation, is organized in response to the growing interest of Indonesian students and scholars to study in Europe. And we are very pleased to note that Europe is a very popular destination for Indonesian students to pursue their higher education plans. Every year, more than 6,000 young Indonesians uh, study in Europe. And the EU and its member states provide more than 1,200 scholarships to Indonesian students and scholars. Why to study in Europe? I see six at least very good reasons. First, the quality of universities in Europe is very high, and this is the result of a very robust European quality assurance system. The second good reason is the method. I think universities possess a start of the art teaching and learning methods, libraries, facilities, laboratories for research, uh, and in many fields. Third, as I mentioned that already, the money. We invest uh, in higher education system, and this is key to maintain uh, our uh, values and economic success. Uh, the money is an important element, but it's not all. So in quite a number of uh, countries, uh, our uh, uh, states maintain affordable and sometimes even free uh, tuition fees. So um, this is an important uh, element. The fifth uh, advantage I see is the language. Uh, many courses, of course, in European universities take place and are delivered in English, but not only. And many students coming to Europe have an, a possibility to uh, speak and to appreciate many other languages. I can only recommend, indeed, to uh, also uh, learn many others. Six, travel opportunities. Uh, thanks to the EU Schengen space, uh, students can easily cross borders to visit European countries uh, beyond the borders of the countries where they are hosted to make their, their, their studies, and to learn, of course, a variety of cultures, arts, foods, very important, national environment, and many, many other things. And as I said, the seventh, for me, uh, uh, argument, the seventh uh, uh, advantage is precisely culture. Uh, because higher education and people-to-people -people exchange are priorities of the European Union since its creation. I'm used to say, not only here, but in my regular speech, prepared by Ibu Destriani from our delegation that this is in our DNA, uh, people to people. Uh, otherwise, we would not be Europe. We would not be united. We would not be Satu Europa, like Satu Indonesia, united in diversity. We are 27 countries, but we have not only 27 nations. We have many more cultures, people, uh, um, specifics. So again, I think that these are the reasons uh, why uh, universities in Europe offer international students a world-class education system, but not only a cultural environment, which is very good for everyone. And to remain, as I, I was mentioning, the, the values of the European Union, to remain united, it means also beyond our own borders. So we need to, again, to continue to uh, uh, finance, invest into exchanges. And in that regard, I will make a little cultural quote, and I will invite uh, the young people from Indonesia to, to uh, go through uh, internet and to try to find and watch a, a quite amazing and very funny and uh, informative movie called The Spanish Inn. It is indeed a French movie, but with many students from all European countries. It is fun, but it is very informative. And you will learn from that amazing movie what it is about to be a student in the framework of the Erasmus program, to be a student in Europe, and to share many cultures uh, in, a, in a good spirit. So again, with all these benefits for foreign students, we are pleased to invite our Indonesian friends to study in Europe's world-class universities, exchange knowledge, and share positive impacts. My closing remarks will be to express again my gratitude to Professor Nizam, to Professor Ibu Dian Sari Utami for all their dedication, their awesome ideas, 
but they are, we need some talents. And as uh, Jean Monnet was used to say, I don't have the right, it should be forbidden, to be either positive or negative, to be optimistic or pessimistic. No, I don't have that right. But I have one obligation, to be committed. So it's not a matter of opinion, it's a matter of commitment. So thank you for your commitment. You make the difference. <laughs> so again, thank you very much. I would like to uh, finally to um, express my sincere appreciation to uh, EHEF exhibitors, all of them, to all the representatives of the universities. I've seen many uh, countries represented today, Ireland, Finland, Sweden, Belgium, the Netherlands, uh, I cannot quote them, France, Spain, uh, uh, many other, Romania. Um, so we have many countries. I have a long list here, in, even from Latvia, I think. I speak under your control. So I'd like to thank them for coming from so far and visit this amazing country, which is uh, 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 Indonesia. And I can deliver many appreciation words, but again, we need committed persons. And so that's why I need to thank in particular my own colleagues, Ibu Destriani. Thank you very much. Terima kasih banyak, everyone, and enjoy this fair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the welcoming remarks. So now let's proceed to the official opening of EHEF 2023. And now I invite all your Excellency Ambassadors of the EU Member States to come to the stage and also Ibu Dr. Dian Sari Utami, the ISMA coordinator for the European region. Mr. Stefan? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> please remain on stage. Uh, Mr. Stefan, please place your hand on the screen to officially open the education fair. So now I would like to invite Mr. Stefan Makati to give the token of appreciation to Ibu Dr. Dian Sari Utami, the ISMA coordinator for the European region. Please come to the stage.
you everyone. I am delighted to attend. The European Higher Education Fair in Indonesia in Jakarta has officially opened. And for all, for His Excellency, Mr. Stefan Makati, please commence with the tour, as well as the other ambassadors. Thank you.